Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your reading. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you God for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see what is happening for Scorpio at this time. What's happening for Scorpio? Where is Scorpio? Okay, so the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Woo. It could be arguments, okay? Um, everybody's saying their piece. Frequent arguments, just maybe even some physical. This is too much. It's too much for my soul. I don't know what to do with this. Um, arguments, you could even have more than one person after you or coming for you. This could even be somebody in your past coming back. What is this about for Scorpio? Seven of Pentacles, um, Queen of Swords, Hangman. So I don't know if you're trying to release someone or someone's trying to release you. There's been separation between you and someone else anyway. Because somebody wasn't reciprocating. This is the, 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 the divorcee. <laughs> Somebody's divorced. Somebody's really... So, there was release. There was sacrifice. There was letting go. There was a lot of secrets. The Eight of Pentacles. It was secrets in the marriage. Somebody let go. They sacrificed it even though they, they still wanted the connection. Still loved you or you loved them. You given this chance. You gave this person chance after chance. or To make something right or tell the truth. Somebody's thinking about you over and over again, yeah. Okay, so it could be a Sagittarius or a Piscean person. This is somebody who could want to turn back the hands of time. They could want you back, okay? Um, this is you haven't moved on and like you, you're around different people. Maybe even a different friend group. Something's in my eye. Okay. What is this? Your psychic abilities are heightened. Yep, with the moon card. This person could be showing up in your dreams or dream space or just really trying to invade your energy. They could be thinking about you a lot or about the relationship or how they want the relationship back. Yep, page of wands. How they want to renewal, rekindle. Uh, they could have it maybe even sexual fantasy about you or this is you it could be you Scorpio I'm wanting someone back with the chariot card We're trying to recover something or get back in control you may feel like you've lost control or this person maybe ex-husband feels like they lost control they want to recover bring it back or they may be telling you they're back in control of themselves or they want something yeah knight of pentacles they want you back. They never really let you go. Their eyes were always for you, set on you. Seven of Swords, they could be spying on you, asking about you. This is a fixed water Scorpio, a feminine energy. Somebody's not concerned with the relationship anymore. Trying to practice emotional stability, get over this connection. Even though they can energetically, psychically feel this person pulling on them. Let's see. Yep, with the King of Cups. Feeling that somebody's still in love with you or lust with you. Um, how they they want to make something right. Apologize to you. All because you chose yourself or you chose to move on. Some um, scandalous behavior was exposed. Scandalous, treacherous behavior. And you decided to move on. Yep, it got exposed with the Page of Swords here. What's going on here for Scorpio? This was a scandal, so that means that like it could um, um, ruin people's reputation if it had gotten out, or it, it maybe it did get out. Purple, so you're you're coming into a place of royalty or um, really healing, divinity, spirituality, intuition. Spiritual royalty also. What is this about for Scorpio? Yeah, Queen of Swords again. Well, I think you had her. Um, so, yeah, the divorcee. Like, you're just... 
you may look like money you're the rich bitch you know you you got it you may live a very nice life um you've been through a lot and would love relationships yeah you've been through a lot in love relationships and you're deciding to only give to situations that reciprocate and no longer give to relationships that take more than they give So this is the King of Wands coming out. You could have been dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, somebody who was handsome, dark, tall, dark, handsome, got what they wanted, looked good, did what they wanted to do, always had independent ideas and agenda for themselves. The Knight of Cups. This is somebody trying to come back, maybe romance you, make you fall in love with them again, wanting to have sex with you or do something with you. But you feel like they made you suffer, though. They put whatever they did, they put you in the ground. You know, they buried you emotionally. And it's like you have to get to dig yourself out of that grave. Yeah, new moon, new start. So it's like you're in a place of clean slate open blessings and manifesting okay a page of cups coming out so it's like your psychic abilities are being high end you're developing your clairvoyance so you can feel this person like pulling on your energy you can feel other people also um there's somebody who is emotionally immature so you know conversation leads to arguments sometimes this is somebody who just wants romance with you they feel like if they could just romance you, flowers, dinner, date, tell you the sweet nothings, have sex with you. That's all they got to give. They definitely want maybe a um, reunion with you. They feel like you're the one that got away. Or this is you. You guys could have three or more children or somebody had like a multiple birth. Or someone's having a multiple birth. Somebody could treat, uh, cheated on you three times or more. The big payback is coming. Maybe you get a big check coming. It's some money coming to you. There are a lot of eyes on you. Somebody's watching you. Okay. And last, what do we have? We get barred. Just like somebody's trying to move forcibly or forcefully or roughly into your life. They're trying to barge in. It's like if the door is closed. They're trying to push their way in. Because they definitely, Queen of Wands, want to have sex with you. Want to come back to the house, home. They may look at you as home. Let's see, three cards of advice in, in terms of moving forward for Scorpio. Healthy choices. You're deciding to make healthy choices. Um, making healthy choices in love and life, self-love, self-care, being happier. Happiness is a choice, okay? You don't find happiness. You don't fall into happiness. You can't buy happiness. You can't mix happiness up in a bowl. None of that. Happiness is a choice that comes from within you. Wedding rings. Okay, so you might be meeting somebody new or maybe you were married to this energy who now wants you back. Dragonfly. Be lighthearted. You know, um, nobody likes the scorn, divorcee, um, adapt to the change. You know, things that are coming, you are finding some things out. We just talked about that. Something was scandalous, what somebody did to you or maybe you did. Things are coming to the light. You just got to adapt, change, and heal. Don't let it slow you down. Deal with it. Scream, cry, do whatever you need to do, but then move on. Adapt, change, heal, right? A photograph, looking at photos, missing you, nostalgia. Yeah, there's somebody in that energy. This is what I have for you, Scorpio. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you. Down in the comment section, go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Come to my live sessions every uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you're a business-minded individual, go ahead and connect with me via the complimentary discovery call. Or you can connect with other like-minded entrepreneurs each and every month by joining the KTMG Keep the Momentum Going a monthly conference call. So take advantage. All links are below. Thank you, Scorpio. Many blessings we to you. We were meant to create sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually mentally emotionally or even physically and this prevents us 
from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality.